Welcome to another episode of Dubai Driver. This time I'm going to help you prepare for the winter season, which in the Emirates and Dubai it means Since the summer season is almost over, many of us forgot how it is to drive in rainy weather and probably our cars would need some attention in order to be well prepared for this demanding uh, time of the year. And here is my list of five areas that we have to focus on and in order to be ready for the rainy season. Point number one is actually our mindset. It is here. One of the things that we should keep in mind that after not having rain for so many months, the road surface is covered with different greasy oils laying there for many months. And the worst time is the first rain that comes because this is when everything is going to lift off and it's going to uh, make like a slippery layer to drive on. Another thing that we have to keep in mind is driving gently keep a, a bigger distance between you and the other cars because any sudden actions such as uh, quick acceleration, sudden braking, uh, changing of uh, directions most likely is going to make your car uh, slip and obviously we have to also adjust our driving speed to the relevant conditions so if you can't see well outside it means that you have to simply slow down, right? Second very important part of preparing for the rainy season is the wipers. It's good to inspect your wipers before the rain starts. If your wipers are not cleaning uh, the windshield properly or uh, are skipping across the windshield uh, or might be making noises or if they're leaving lines, then this is a good indication that it's best to um, replace them and as you inspect the front wipers, in case your car is equipped with a rear wiper, this is also a wiper that you need to remember to keep in good service condition. The third element when preparing for rain is the tires. Because after we have good visibility, now we have to uh, uh, maintain good traction on the road. It's not only about the make of the tires, but what will save you from the popular phenomena called aqua planning is your tread uh, depth. So what it means that worn out tires will not give you a sufficient traction on wet surfaces where you have a layer of standing water. So make sure to inspect the tires. You might want to get your tires inspected by a professional to give you advice whether your tires are still suitable for uh, driving in the wet. You can do a very simple test for your tires using a dirham. Simply put the dirham across the whole surface of your tires in different spots around the tire and uh, you can examine the depth of the uh, tread simply by putting it upright with the uh, coffee jug upwards and if you can see the whole bottom line of the coffee jug, this is a time to consider to replace your tires because in standing water, your tires most probably will not be able to uh, guarantee you good traction, especially at high speed. Uh, another thing uh, to keep in mind, you should have identical tires on the front axle and you should have identical tires on the rear axle. In many cases, I have seen cars having mixed tires uh, across. That's very risky, especially in slippery conditions, because each tire has different properties and different uh, rolling resistance. This is very crucial to your safety, especially when cornering and when applying the brakes. Uh, this can lead to instability and you will upset the balance of your car. And of course, the ideal situation, especially for four-wheel drive cars is to have identical tires in all four corners. The fourth measure to keep in mind is also checking your lights. Make sure that your headlights, your brake lights are functioning properly before the rainy season because in such conditions of limited visibility it could be a situation that the lights will save you from getting hit by another car. And also keep in mind if the front lights are milky, hazy in color, 
when it comes to the glass or you know the cover or of your headlight make sure to get the lights clean because this haziness and milkiness is limiting the amount of uh, light that is simply projected in front of you and that is also limiting your safety on the road so you can see and you can also be seen this is what's critical in this aspect the last advice i have for you right now especially when you drive on a highway in a heavy rain condition make sure to drive in the same tracks as the car in front of you this will increase your safety on the road because these spots and these patches will already have less water than the surrounding area so i hope this information is useful to you uh, if you have any questions or you have any other suggestions uh, i will really appreciate your comments below um, and by the way in the subject of wipers of course it is a good occasion to check your uh, washer fluid you can substitute it by simple tap water and with adding just a little bit of either car soap or you can use dish soap but you just have to add a tiny bit it's enough to use an amount that would cover the surface of a dirham that's more than enough to mix it with normal tap water but make sure that your tank is filled and there is some soap because it will help your uh, wipers remove any dirt and dust of your windshield so thank you for watching this episode and see you again next time